what did we do as a regulator when we were faced with this task? Well, the first thing we did was we tried to understand the issue. So making sure that that all of our staff, um, my, myself included, understood uh, some of the basic information around sexual abuse and sexual misconduct. I, I highlight that as an essential first step because if you want to make meaningful change, I think it's important to bring everyone along in the process from a regulatory perspective. So understanding prevalence, understanding common myths and misconceptions, et cetera. Um, we wanted to consider how this applied to regulatory processes like complaints and investigations. And again, we had to grapple as an organization with the definition of a patient. So we all had to understand some of the base information. We then looked at how this might apply to physiotherapists uh, and whether or not our members had a, a general awareness of this issue. And it embedded some discussion around this, again, basic information in our patient facing resources. We looked and thought about when patients are at risk and what our internal data says about the prevalence of this type of complaint. And then we went on to draft our message and to draft our standards. So really drafting a standard that reflects the realities of physiotherapy practice and then making sure that our registrants knew it, helping them to connect the dots to see how it applies to them and their practice and where their patients may be at risk. And then ensuring their awareness of the changes of, and that they knew who a patient was, but also that they knew about these new penalties. We developed a number of resources, both member facing resources and public facing resources. Uh, we also um, uh, had the opportunity to um, in require all registrants to engage in learning around the subject um, through our continuing competence program because we, we do have the ability to require a college selected activity. So this became our college selected activity in the 2019-2020 renewal year.